Hey everybody, what's going on? Jester here, and welcome to, I guess, a rebirth of Jester's Rage, the series that I've done. I've started a few times. Um, this time I'm going to take a very different approach to it. Uh, the first episode is, well, as you can see, I'm starting here, blank desktop. Go ahead and get the AT launcher started up. First episode is going to pretty much just, or not just, but it's going to start off with getting the pack set up and what people can do to get situated and started. Um, so if you've never played the pack, go into pack, add packs, gestures, rage, capital J, capital R, no space, save. Obviously, I already have the pack in here, but at this point, Believe it or not, shut down, restart your AT launcher. Um, I don't know why it is. I think that's coded into um, AT launcher, but that'll put, well, not in the instances. Uh, you got to go down to the bottom. I apologize. I'm not that cool. I don't have a fully public pack yet. Working on it. It's going to take a lot of work, but towards the bottom, Jester's Rage, new instance. Make sure you select 104. You won't see the releases. Um, those are the dev builds that we are working on. Just 104. Hit install. All right. Now here, these are client side only. So these will not work on a server. Most of these will not work on a server. But these, um, you cannot use on a server. Say you decide to go through us at Sentinel Hosting and get a Jester's Rage server because it's the only place that will have it. You cannot put Difficult Life and Better Sleeping on the pack. Um, it will not work. As it sits right now, just the required mods will get you onto the official Jester's Rage server, but it is the simplest form of the pack. This pack is built on a lot of difficulty and a lot of complication. But mouse tweaks, fast craft, that can be added to this side to the pack and it will still run fine. Um, we're going to add cave biomes, environment and Batania. Batania in 105 will be standard. Um, so whether or not you want it, it's going to be there. But there is no, uh, what's it called? Um, world gen. We disabled the world gen. You have to go through agricraft to get your flowers. Um, we're not going to add all of these others for this this version of the series just because there's a lot of down camera time and it overly complicates things. It's, it's a blast to play on your own, but I don't feel that it would be effective for the series. Um, except for zombie infection. We'll try that. Um, makes life easier with Thomic Editions. We're not about making life easier. Um, streams is, is cool looking. I'm not all that big on it, but other people have wanted it, so I added it. But these mon uh, special mobs, Monster Swarm, Difficult Life, and Better Sleeping, if you add any one of those, it's going to add a level of difficulty exponentially. You add all four of them, you're going to die. You're going to die a lot, and you're going to get frustrated with the pack. If you don't believe me, I challenge you to try it. Anyhow, we're adding these. Hit install. It says it's going to take a while. It's not going to take that long. Get everything up and running. Just like that. Not all that terrible. Instances, there you are, ready to go. You hit play, and you're rocking and rolling. And I'm not going to sit here and watch this whole thing go. So I will be right back. All right, now that we're back, um, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, it takes a little bit for this pack to get started. As you can see down here at the bottom, 173 mods loaded. This is not your tiny little pack. You hit multiplayer, you'll see that our server is up. So if you have the base pack, you're good to go. However, 
we are starting a new series. Options. Let's see here. Just punch in a random bunch of numbers. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So pause the video if you watch the series. You say, hey, I like that seed. There you go. You can have that seed. It's a bunch of random numbers. There is no reason, rhyme, or whatever it is. So now, crossing our fingers, hoping to Christ we don't get a savanna. Um, because that will be hell. That will be torture, and that will be brutally insane. So now, we're getting started, and you're going to see exactly what it's like starting off on this pack. Um, I know I haven't gone over any of the mods, and I'm not going to list every single mod. Um, if you go to my website, jesteronline.com, there is a section that lists every mod. However, we will be talking about, as they come up, some of the mods that we will be encountering. As everything loads up, you see it does in fact take a little bit. We're in an area with a whole bunch of trees. There are no new versions of Advent of Ascension available. Shut that down. I'm going to go in here, mini-map. I move mine to the bottom left because in the top right, you see the Advent of Ascension bars. However, you can see there are already some bad guys that have spawned. Advent of Ascension adds a whole ton of insanely new mobs, and they ignore conventional and vanilla spawning mechanics. They will come find you. They will come kill you as quickly as they can. And that guy's evil. Um, things you... Oh, man. We're going to run. Things you need to look for... Oh, crap. Early game, which you need to look for... Sheep, obviously. Awesome. Sheep. We don't have any weapons. Um, food, you're going to need... Lots of wood you're going to need. You're going to need gravel. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It put us right next to a taint biome. That's terrible. Because Thongcraft is in here, obviously that adds taint. Taint is bad. Um, nope. <laughs> Going this way. But Jester's Rage is about the rage. This pack is designed to kill the player. Yeah, it sounds insane, and I can't count the number of times that people played. So, Jester, I hate you. Why'd you make this pack? There's something seriously wrong with you. You're sick. Etc. 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 And I laugh because they keep playing. So, as crazy and insane as the pack is, they are enjoying it, and that is why it is released. Because I want everybody else to enjoy it. It brings challenge back to Minecraft. Gravel. I mean, think about it. You play something like Infinity. And if anybody from FTD watches this, I am not knocking Infinity at all. Infinity was a great pack. Infinity was a fun pack. However, you can't say that I'm wrong. You get started. If you know what you're doing in Minecraft couple hours into it you grind out for a few hours next thing you know you've got an emmy system you've got a big reactor you've got all this stuff ready to go and it's only been a few hours in this pack you're running for your life a lot of time one of the guys that's playing is said it's the kind of pack that when you step outside it punches you in the face and makes you go back into your hole um and I heard him say that. He said that while he was streaming, and I laughed hysterically. There are mobs in here that when you get started, you cannot kill. Um, and that's, that's just the fact. You cannot kill them. Because in Advent of Ascension, you have hunter levels. If your hunter level is not high enough, you cannot kill the hunter mobs. And that's just the fact of the matter. End of story. Sorry. Um, but 
Advent of Ascension adds a ton of other things that makes it so much fun to play. So I encourage anybody who is watching this series, anybody who's ever even heard of Jester's Rage, give it a shot and let me know. Tell me what you think about it. I love input. I love feedback. Okay, so we're gathering materials. We've got a little bit of food on us. The, the sun is at the noon-ish position. Um... You know what, we're gonna go ahead and get, get some wood, we're gonna make some tools. We are gonna make some tools, which means we need to make benches. Welcome to Tinker's Construct. Okay, first thing is first. Yes, as I've already alluded, Tinker's Construct is in here and so is Iguana's Tinker Tweaks. So you have to start off with flint tools and they will level up as they go. And that is one thing I've had a lot of people bitching about. I can't find gravel. You know what? That's part of the challenge. God damn it. You gotta go and find what you need and do what you gotta do. Stencil, part. Okay. But for gravel, one, two, three, just like that piece of cake so cut me a little bit of slack I could have made it a lot worse and any of you guys who have been playing these packs for a long time know this can be a lot worse so no I don't need to do that I will need one of those I will need one of those okay um so from here pickaxe that I need one more because I'm not going to make... Ooh, I do need to make a shovel. Um, early game, just to give you a little bit of, I guess, advice. Make yourself a Matic. Matic's a good weapon early game. You also want to have a shovel simply due to the... Oh, i got to make the other stuff. The dirt. There is a monster that has been added. Uh, Kendril Knight, they are called. What am I doing wrong? I have no idea. It's called a Kendril Knight. Here's the thing with the Kendril Knight. It's a dirt monster. So if you're in the dirt and you break dirt with something other than a shovel, there's a chance that this bad boy is going to show up and ruin your day. Um, and sometimes they vary. Um, but I think that because I don't have special mobs or any of the other insane added stuff, it won't be as bad. Okay, we got this stuff. Shovel. Okay. But instead, I am using a shovel. But I need to get I need to get cobble. Because I need to make a furnace because I need light. Another one of the beautiful mods added to this pack is hardcore darkness. Hardcore darkness eliminates light when it's dark. So when it gets dark outside, it gets really dark outside. Like, you can't see squat dark outside. Um, and we are getting there relatively soon. So, here's my... Okay, it's still in here. And now, for those of, obviously, people who haven't seen this, not everybody has played this. This is my, one of my words of wisdom, words of advice for this particular pack. When it comes down to it. Um, I don't have any other sticks. Especially if you have Spice of Life, as you see in the bottom right corner. If you have Spice of Life involved, do not make vanilla torches. Vanilla torches will set everything on fire. I promise. 
Um, another thing, this is beautiful. Z-Tones adds mini charcoal and mini coal, which is amazing. So as that is going, you know what? Let's check out the map while we're sitting here chilling. This might not be a bad area to live, depending on this. So for the first few episodes, we're probably going to hang out here, get everything situated, learn the ropes, learn the lay of the land, give you guys a little bit of tip action on what to do, what not to do, my recommendations. Um, so we'll, we'll do that. You can see how it's really dark in here. It gets light, yay. But once it gets night out, before we decide to sleep, because I am not dealing with the nighttime, um, I will show you what I mean by it gets dark. But while we wait for that, I'm going to go ahead and watch some fireworks, get some uh, wood action, and I will be right back. All right, and now as you can see, it is beginning to get dark. You can see down here as well, night falls on the world. So the gods will not help you through the darkness. Now that is the stuff up in the top right corner. Um, if you see where it says the fist with 100, those bars, as you fill them up, um, there are four different gods that get pleased by your contribution. So... It'll give you different stuff. Otherwise, the night just becomes hell. And I will venture over here, and you can see, that as it gets dark, you can't see squat. You can see in the mini-map, bad guys are starting to spawn. So what we're going to do is we're going to venture down here real fast. Yeah, do you see that? I just got a gold nugget from Mining Stone, courtesy of the Advent of Ascension. So we're going to clean this out. <laughs> Coal from Mining Stone. Again, courtesy of Advent of Ascension. So with the number of things Advent adds that just makes the experience torture, it counters with a lot of other things. Um, so there are some advantages. And I'm surprised that mobs are not spawning. We got a handful over there. But that's about it. I wonder if it has to do with the tainted biome. I am not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. So, yeah. Um, go ahead. Put this down. We're gonna make us a bed. Fortunately, we didn't wander too far from where we started, but we're not gonna take any chances. So go ahead, sleep through the night, stare at the wall. Hey, wall, how's it going? Hope you're doing all right. And then we are back to daytime. Um, well, we have ourselves a little hidey hole here, which is not terrible, actually, because it is kind of a hidey hole. We're going to go ahead, new hidey hole. So, yeah. Go ahead and give ourselves a place marker. Um, we have a few treeses, so go ahead and start chopping down trees. And I'll give you a little bit more of a rundown on what is installed here in the pack. So as I said, Hardcore Darkness makes everything pitch black. But to counter it, I've added dynamic lighting. And if you haven't used dynamic lighting before, that is where you would want a vanilla torch. Because of stuff that gives off light naturally from vanilla um, will emit light as you walk around if you've never used dynamic lighting before. So it's not terrible. But it is countered by the fact that everything else. Um, you, if I were to put a torch right here, it lights the tree on fire. Um, 
as you can see, we've got some agricraft plants. Speaking of plants, um, agricraft is installed, which adds, or which adds the. Those aren't agricraft plants. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Those are Pam's harvest craft. Holy shit! That was a lot of saplings rub. So that's Pam's harvest craft. Um, adds all the food. Agricraft is completely integrated with Pam's Harvest Craft, so you can use the crops, crop breeding, stuff like that, which is fantastic. And you're going to need it because I put Spice of Life in here. You never use Spice of Life. What is with all of the sapling drops? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's amazing, but wow. Spice of Life makes it to where the magic, the first magic number is six the first six items you choose to eat um are at their value uh, as you can see diminishing returns start after eating any food six more times and that's you eat one item six times you eat six items one time it doesn't matter after that see weak essence that we'll get into after a while um we can't do anything about it right now because we need an ascension shrine, if I recall correctly. And that thing requires rosite, which is pretty rare. But anyhow, um, as we were talking about Spice of Life, 9 is the magic number. Well, 8, but 9. Um, you have It'll keep track of your first 8, and so your ninth one kind of resets everything. Well goes back to the beginning you have diminishing returns on the stuff that you eat so there's that you can hear the dogs up um other than that advent of ascension is the core foundation of this pack which adds the challenge i've gone through and made minor changes elsewhere to increase the challenge um some of the stuff in harvesting and mining crap like that. Um, there's a ton of ores in this pack. A ton. Because I am insane and I added... As soon as it catches up. Metallurgy. So you have all the metallurgy ores in here. And if you pay close attention while I'm playing, you will see an early game hack, if you will, to getting going and getting started. Now that will come in terms of the smeltery. A um, few people who have played the pack might be watching the series. They already know. Um, I've shared it with them, so it's no secret to them. But yeah, there will be a little hack, a little secret, if you will, that I will be able to show you. Um, let's see here. What else? Um, a lot of the popular tech mods are in here. Buildcraft is in here. Big reactors. Forestry and railcraft. Um, mechanism is in here. Uh, mechanism is a lot of fun if you know what you're doing. I'm kind of still learning it. Um, it's got some pretty OP stuff once you get where you need to get. Um, Thomcraft is in here, as you can tell by the tainted lands. And I think I want to get started in Thomcraft relatively early. Um, it real, will require me to get at some gold and with us mining and getting gold nuggets that won't be too terrible but big it's a big tech pack except for Thomcraft but they added Thomic Energistics to it which will incorporate applied energistics oh there's a couple of bad guys it'll incorporate applied energistics with um, Thomcraft, so that makes things amusing. Ah, crap! I 
けど。So that's in here. AE stuff is in here. AE2、uh, stuff is in here.、Um, a few other tech mods. I'm a fan of the tech. I really am.、Um, first pack I really started playing、It、was a direwolf pack. I think a lot of people started there. Well, prior to that was the、uh, FTB beta. And then they released Direwolf 20s pack. So, I've always been a fan of the tech mods. Now, not every tech mod is in here.、Um, I think that'd be a bit overkill. Ooh, we are gonna need you.、I'm, I actually got pretty lucky with this. Um, seed. I'm not getting a whole lot of spawns. I haven't figured out why, and I'm not going to question it because I don't want to die.、Um, yes, you need to make sure you drink water. <sighs> Dogs. Ooh. Ooh, I saw that. Okay.、Um, What we're gonna do, run back to the hidey hole real fast. Okay, that was a cow. It's like, oh no, what's coming around the corner? We're gonna run back to the hidey hole real fast. Put our stuff away. You can also see that there is saturation. That comes in real handy once you start getting some of the other stuffs going on. Okay, I'm gonna put you there. Grab all my tools. Yeah, that should be good.、Um, I don't know if you saw it when I was over there by the cliff.、Um, I think it's the extreme hills that they show up in. You can kind of see it right where my cursor's at from here. That's exciting, especially this early in the game. I mean, episode one, y'all. And already we found that. Plus, the other advantage of the extreme hills is emeralds. And Ender IO, which is also in here, utilizes emeralds for their、uh, the pulsating gem, I think it's called.、Um, not sure the name of it. Let's see here. We can't think of it. Ooh, nether quartz. That is actually really good early on.、Um, Don't need any of that stuff just yet.、Let's、see if there's anything else good that we can see around here while keeping an eye on our. What's it called? Our map.、Um, I don't see anything good. I was hoping for one of the great wood trees that had the chest in it. But no such luck. There's some pig. So we'll get food. More pig. A couple of sheep. Maybe we can get some mutton from the sheep.、Um, so, a lot of stuff goes on early goings. Oh, good mutton. If you can get lucky like I did and get a spawn that is not completely terabad, awesome. You can see I can't harvest it yet because I don't have a copper harvesting level. Um. As you can see, I don't have any light from this non vanilla torch. So I am moving with equipment. Here comes the night. It is not a night event. Thank God. Now, if I was playing with some of the other ones, like special mobs,、um, yeah, things would get challenging. All right, let's get through the night. So we are now officially two days through. And there's a creeper outside. Two days through our little start.、Um, let's see here. We found some clay. We found some decent stuff, a healthy amount of gravel. We're going to need a lot more gravel if we're going to get into a smeltery at some point.、Um, might do some exploring.、Uh, maybe we can find a village or something like that early on. Though, because I just commented on how we've gotten lucky, I'm pretty sure our luck has run out. Which point we are going to get raffle stomped by something big, bad, and horrible. 
So, yeah. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up episode one. Um, like I said, if you haven't checked out this pack yet, do me a huge favor and check it out. It's on the AT Launcher. Um, check it out and let me know what you think. I'm real eager to see what people think about this pack um, and what kind of improvements can be made. Um, at one point, I thought about going the way of regrowth. Uh, I loved the regrowth pack and the challenge that it offered in that it built itself around Batania. And I've even thought about doing that with Thomcraft here in this pack. Building it around Thomcraft, um, the infusion, stuff like that, which is why I've decided that Thomcraft is going to be done early in the pack. Um, I'm thinking, ooh, there's another one over here. I'm going to probably check that out between episodes. But this area over here, we're going to get some exploring done. So when we come back, this will be opened up a little bit. Um, get some pickaxe action done so that uh, maybe we could have our first level, which would be nice. I mean, we're getting fairly close. Uh, the mining XP, however, to get to copper, as you can tell, still a ways to go. So, lots of work ahead of us. Oh my god, a lot of work. But we'll see what we can't get accomplished. So until next time, take care, and I'll catch up with you then.